I uh, bought a new hike the other day. This is the large Ron Ransom one. Now I haven't cut the handle down on this, so I'm just using it as it was meant to be, so to speak. So let's see how I get on with a, with a new one. And this is the uh, photograph I'm working with. I took this in Sutton Park the weekend. So, starting as always, I'm just using clean water. I'm just going to wet the paper all the way over. And then starting, then just dip the tips in just to bring the egg back together. And then starting with the sky, and then we go. Well, let's just start with a, bit of, a little bit of raw skin there. And we'll bring that down to the bottom of the page. Just clean the brush. And then let's have a little bit of ultramarine. There's only a little bit of sky showing, so I'm not going to go overboard with it. I think that'll turn up there. And then there's a, there's a bit of water somewhere about there. That's all I need to do for that. So I'm going to do it. Let's see that dry. It doesn't have to be bone dry, right? it's just stopping the water from dripping down the page. Now using the same two colours I'm going to put in the distant trees right, right in the background. And a bit of raw sienna, a bit of ultramarine. Something like that. And then you're right, it's quite a high horizon. We're going somewhere up there like that. See, I'm just sort of hitting this, leaving little gaps, unpainted gaps. Just looks like little details. That's the most distant one. And then I get a little bit, a little bit of that little bit of there, I can see right in the distance. Back to raw sienna. And then a bit of lemon yellow. Conscious that this, the water starts right about there. But um, actually no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop a little bit short of that. Just trying to bear it, don't want it all the same shade of green. Now, there's a few trees there, so I'm going to clean the brush. I've just gone into raw sienna, lemon yellow, a bit of ultramarine. And then, oh yeah, we've got some, some closer trees. And we'll see, just to get, basically, I'm looking for the paint to break. And all I'm doing is just one little flip like that. And you can see all the little gaps that happen there. And you can either use a fingernail. Uh, suggest a few little trunks and whatnot. Just trying to vary the green a little bit. Let's get a bit of a bit of Payne's grey, really get a little dark to the difference now look that really dark, dark green. Back into them in yellow. I'm doing such a light red there just to get a bit of variation in it. And we're just creating an impression of the scene. I'm not doing exactly what I see on the screen there from the photograph. And then what I might do is leave just leave a little gap there so you can see right through to the background. And then the trees again, I'm gonna start them off. Something like that. That was a bit 
big brain there, just getting through a variation, back into the lemon yellow. Still, still wet enough. A few little trunks and branches. Don't want to get too mad with this. Like most things, it's, it's quickly to, it's, it's easy to overdo it. Right, and then these trees on the left hand side, they go right off, right off the top of the page. Let's get a bit of brown, get a bit of paint grey, really dark in a little bit. So that's the background done. Now I'm going to get back to a lighter colour. So I'm going to clean the brush, take the excess off on the tea towel, back into a bit of lemon yellow, a bit of raw sienna. And then just carry on with this. Right, now this is right up to the water's edge now. Before I do it, I'm just going to pull this paper flat so it just stretched slightly. I didn't let it stretch very much because I dried it pretty quick because I could see the paint coming down, dripping down the page. So what am I doing this? Just give it a little bit of burnt umber. Just darken it a bit, burnt umber. Ultramarine, and just put just this little, just dab, 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 just that little shoreline, just a little suggestion of a, like a little muddy bank. Right, I'll do that. Well, now I've already got the sky reflected in the water, but I want to do some trees as well. So I'm just going to re-wet this area and then quickly before it dries get some of those tree colours and I'm just going to pull them down So normally I do this when I'm doing the trees themselves, so you've got to mess about trying to get the same colour on the brush. Well, now you're looking at it, well, is that the same as that actually? No, so I'm just going to adjust it slightly. If you just do it at the same time, it just saves all this acid. To, not, not forgetting to, it's a little bit wet at the moment, just to put in the reflections of those trunks. Can't see on that side anyway. I ain't going to do any more because this is going to be land. So again, give that a quick, quick dry. Carry on around this sort of area and we're back to 
this grass. I need to just keep that really dark just so we make it stand out from the water it's all blending in and we're going to go a bit of uh, umba into the lemon yellow Ultramarine, lemon yellow, quick sweep. Just trying to vary as much as I can. Bit of burnt umber, light red. Back into the lemon yellow, moving across this side. The ultramarine, fangs dry, and um, raw sienna. Now there's a big, big bush thing there. So I'm just going to give that a quick drive there. on this right hand side so clean the brush um, I want it fairly dry so I'm gonna just scuff it up on the towel and then I think I'm gonna need quite dark to make it stand out I'm gonna ultramarine lemon yellow gonna paint grey a bit of raw sienna a bit of everything really it's, it's a person. of mud and grass and whatnot. I've got a big tree here. So I'm just gonna you gotta it's gonna be sort of dark browny tree trunk. So what I'm gonna do is just dip the tips in I don't bother washing it. And I'm gonna go go on a dark colour anyway. A bit of Burnt umber, ultramarine, and we'll start somewhere like that, and that's going up there, and up, and just make the bottom a little bit wider, just widen this a bit, and then we'll the top, and we've got one that comes up. I'll finish this off with a with a rig of brush. And then it comes up like that. And a bit more like that. It goes right at the top. And a few moves. Not on this side. And just get that base nicely big. Picking up the brush, there's just a few grasses here and there. Let's just switch to the, uh, the little brush now. Back into that dark mix. And there's 
more water. With just the like just a fine sweet seed in there of the tree. It's a grass seed in there. And now there's a few. I don't want to do it see it properly. I'm just going to clean the brush. I just want to do a few leaves on the tree, so I'm just going to clean the brush. I'm just going to squeeze all the water out of it and stuff. Scuff it up on the tea towel, some, something like this. I mean, for my leaf colours, I'm just going to. Uh, a bit of a lemon yellow, a bit of raw sienna, ultramarine, plains grey. It's a dry brush, so I'm going to leave plenty of gaps so you can see the background behind. Don't block it all in. Too much water, you'll just block it all in. Last um, Sunday, I think it was, I took this photograph. It's a very dull day, so there's, there wasn't much sun, so there's no light and shadow, so I'm going to have to make up, make up a shadow. So we need sort of um, just to create a bit of drama in the foreground. If we, which way should we do the shadow? So if we pretend, let's just say it's coming in sort of this direction. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a bit of burnt umber an ultramarine just to make a sort of just a general shadowy colour right so uh, this bush is going to have a shadow here and I'm going to the tree has got a shadow and I'm going to send something up in the distance there coming right across Some stuff there and there. I think not far off. So you see me that one. Just pop a little bird in the sky. I think I'm going to call that one done. So I'm just going to stick my name in the corner. Let's see what it looks like with the main song. So here's our painting in the main, so <clears throat> let's go in and have a closer look at it. So you can see from the, uh, we have a quick look at the other photo, the photograph I used. I've not really uh, changed it too much. All the elements are in the, in the same place. The sky is just a very simple raw sienna, ultramarine mix. And then I reflected those, well I brought the colours down into the water so I didn't have to mess about you doing the same colour like I had to do with the trees. Because if you look at the trees you can see it's not an exact match, it's there or thereabouts. But you can see it doesn't reflect exactly what's above it. Normally I'd put them in at the same time, so as I'm brushing the trees in, just pull down quickly. Um, I think the reason I did that was because this area was dry and I wanted to wet it first, although I don't think it would look too bad if I just put the reflections in dry, I don't think it would have made too much difference. 
these distant trees put in using the same raw sienna ultramarine mix and you can see where I've, all these little unpainted bits it just looks like uh, just those little details far away see in the photograph trees pretty much along the whole of the horizon but I've sort of left this area clear just so you can see what's going on far away you can see where I've just used a bit of fingernail there just to suggest the um, the tree trunks quite an effective simple technique to use and then the land sweeps round into the foreground try to vary it as much as I can or when all round the palette really there's um, lemon yellow um, bits of raw sienna here. you can see ultramarine burnt on baby a bit of light red in there somewhere and the final thing to put in was the big tree on the left just using the uh, the height brush just to put the, uh, the sort of skeleton of the tree and the little twigs in first and then if you remember a bit of dry brush work various colours raw sienna ultramarine lemon yellow a bit of Payne's grey just to suggest all the leaves there hanging off the branches and the twigs it was quite a dull day so there was no uh, real sort of light and shadow um, that you could use. So I've just invented some just to try and make it look a bit more interesting. Not quite sure I made the best use of shadow here. Um, well thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.